Hey, I am Emily with M Design, and today I want to talk to you about the difference between Wix and Squarespace's mobile editor. Both Wix and Squarespace provide a totally mobile friendly website option when you are making your website. So that's a really good feature because we know that 80% of people use and access websites on their phone, not they're not sitting at a desktop or a laptop. So it's really important to have a really good mobile friendly site. So this is going to be a really short video. There's just one big major difference that I can see that makes one of these better than the other. So I'm going to show you what I found. You can decide what you think and then let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear. So let's look at these things here. Also, I apologize for my voice. I think it's allergies. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the Squarespace mobile editor. So I created this testing site in Squarespace. I've just been doing some, you know, testing today. I'm going to do some other videos on what I think about the Squarespace system. But let's go ahead and look at just these different pages that I've created. Oops. Okay. So this is just the template. I did not do this. <laughs> but what we want to do is we want to look at the mobile side. So over here, you see this little mobile button. And then you can look over here at the mobile site. And when I click edit, I can edit the site header. And here I can edit some wording. So I'm just going to say courses. Okay, so if I wanted to change some wording, that's how you would do that. You can uh, edit here, you know, the, the layout. You can't move anything anywhere though. So. You know, if you're a lot of times, what happens is you've got a photo that looks great on desktop, put it on mobile and it gets cropped out of range and so we need to be able to crop that back. This does not give you the option to do that. I was kind of bummed about that. So, um, oops, I'm sorry, that's not what I wanted to do. So, and that's kind of a weird thing because I've ran into a lot of issues with that and you want to be able to fully edit your site. So when you uh, come down here, we can edit the design. So the join button, but you know what? Something that I want to go back and check because I was reading and as I was editing and playing around with this before I made the video, if I go back to desktop view, I'm going to scroll up. It changes everything. So if I change something on mobile, it also changes it on desktop. So that's kind of a problem in my opinion, because desktop and mobile are not always the same. And so you may have a button that you want to feature on your desktop site and it looks great on here, but when you have it on mobile, it doesn't look right and you need to move it, you know, up towards the top or something because, you know, when you have a mobile device, can only see so much. And so it's really important to get that first information up there right away so that they can see it. There's also things on desktop that can be more flowery or um, decorative. You just want to hide on the mobile. Can't do that in Squarespace. So let me kind of show you what I'm used to working with in Wix because Wix is my jam. Um, also open to, you know, other alternative website creators because I know that, you know, it's not that black and white. It's not like Wix is good, everything else is bad, but I wanna show you why I love Wix and why I think it is the best option if you're doing it correctly, right? So let's go ahead and take a look here at the mobile editor. So I've created this whole page in Wix on desktop, and then I'm gonna slide over to switch to mobile. Okay, so on here, I have done no sort of optimization or optimization just means I have done nothing to make it look better on mobile. So if we look over here, we have the page layout optimizer. This one is always interesting to me. So basically you can optimize it and Wix will be like, oh, hey, we know what you want. <laughs> Most of the time they don't <laughs> because like this does not look right, right? So what I love about the Wix editor is that it is fully customizable. Like you just, you don't have to stick to a grid. I can move my start here button all the way down to the bottom. Um, I can hide my photo if I wanted to. Yeah, hide it so that it would just be like really super simple to use. 
and for users to see, you know, and make decisions on what they want to do next. So uh, I'm going to slide this up here to start here. And as you can see, it just moves with me. This is the repeater option, which we talk about in my online membership where, you know, we teach you how to, I teach you how to make repeaters that look really professional and make um, editing so much fun and easy. And it keeps your information really organized. So, okay, I, I would do a whole bunch of other stuff here. I would actually do two per line, which you know what, I'm just gonna show you because we're all about here talking about the features of Wix and how really it is better because it does have more options. So I'm gonna show you the options. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little smaller so I can fit two per line. And then this goes over here. Again, I'm gonna show you how to do all of this in our monthly training group if you're interested. But for now, this just gives you like an idea of what is possible. Okay, so then I'm gonna slide this repeater container over. So uh -huh, there we go, everything fits obviously okay so here is also an awesome option you can make your text smaller on certain pieces of information which is wonderful in mobile because sometimes your wording is different and um your titles will be you know taking up too much space on a page or whatever and you just need to make it work so this makes it easier to make it work now, repeaters are weird. We talk about this a lot in my membership. They're awesome. You just have to make them work. So I'm trying to get these to line up a little bit better. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this element so that it's just more basic than ever, which I think is really important for a mobile site. So that's something that you cannot do in Squarespace is to make your mobile more basic so that people can see more on the screen when they're you know on mobile so i love this because it's like okay here's my first screen view i think i'm going to clean this up a little bit but i can see everything here about the repeater right away i can make my decision right away i don't have to look through all of those options so here i can obviously update those i kind of like how that looks so i'm just going to leave it um, but here I could, if I wanted to, you know, make my image smaller and rearrange the content a bit to make it a little bit more mobile friendly and easier to use. So I'm going to crop this so that so you can kind of see my face. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to actually change the layout here to be left justified. And the reason for that is it just works better on mobile. Okay. When you center everything on mobile, it takes a lot of space. And so this way I can kind of customize the design and the look of it and the feel of it to look similar to how it is on the desktop. But also I feel like this is just way more user friendly because I have given them the most important information up front first. I've decided as a designer, what the best user experience would be. So again, this is not perfect, but just for the sake of getting this tutorial done in a quick and timely manner, this is kind of what we're looking at for having a really customizable site. So now you can see it's like, oh, boom, here's all the information that person needs to get started and makes it super simple. Obviously I could clean up this top banner a little bit, but all that to say, I am so thankful for Squarespace and Wix because we need options, right? Squarespace has really beautiful templates and they do make it easy to provide a great website, but there are several reasons why I do not choose Squarespace and choose Wix instead. There'll be more videos on that to come, but all that to say, if you're interested in learning more about Wix and creating a really professional looking Wix website, I would love to help you. I've got a monthly membership group opening soon that you can be a part of where I teach you, you'll have access to everything you need to know to build a basic Wix site. And then every single month I'll be releasing new trainings on, you know, mobile optimization. I'm kind of out of focus. <laughs> there we go. Mobile optimization or um, marketing analytics, how to use automations, all of that stuff. So the options are limitless with Wix. 
Squarespace is more limited than Wix, especially when it comes to the mobile editor. So keep that in mind and I'd love to hear your comments below. Thanks.